Now we turn your attention to our Sunday Sidekick segment presented to you by Pace Center Soccer Club. Eric Halbert joins us now with the area's top soccer gurus. Sidekicks is brought to you by Pace Center Soccer Club. Soccer excellence since 1980. It is that time, time for Sidekicks. Joining us as always, Chris Black. So happy to have you here, Chris. You had to leave. A, <laughs> I had to leave early. Did you yeah, leave yeah. any I games early to get here on time? Yeah, couple, yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, and Danny Fisher back from Pace Center, representing Pace Center. Danny, always good to see you. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here. You class up the joint when you're here. Uh, okay, so first of all, first and foremost, let's get right to it. Huge battle of Sylvania. Chris yeah. Black, you were on the call earlier this week. But the storyline of storylines, the hidden storyline was cats and cougars living in the same house <laughs> who knew coexisting yes and getting along uh, and i don't know how bosa jc has dealt with this all, all all year knowing this game was coming he's the father of alex and tony's a jc uh but he was wearing orange during the game so we know where his heart still lies and but they're accepting of tony so that's okay they accepted tony and the family maybe next year bo can switch over some you know yellow and black but that's that's his call ultimately and if the people didn't yeah. see explain yeah. a little bit further what you're talking about yeah so it, at the derby in savannah on the boys side alex and jc forward senior for savannah southview uh, he had the unfortunate to his probably opinion uh incident of his brother going to savannah northview freshman tony said jc uh but to be fair some redistricting some things going on in savannah and so tony goes that way um, Mark Del Verne, to his credit for Samania North, the head coach, he says before the game, Tony will is far from JV. We, we do expect him to play today more than likely. And, uh, and play he did. He got into the game, and as soon as the game started, it, it was fantastic uh, once he got in because he gave, you know, his big brother Alex Kane gave him a big hug. Later on, the referee was looking through a ball at him. Uh, <laughs> lots of things going on. We were really hoping the referee hit throughout the red card and everything. No, no, right, no. Right, right. <laughs> so, so, so it's fantastic. So, again, just to, yeah. the reason this happened was because there's redistricting. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. And, and the, the oldest, the eldest, yep. is a senior at Southview. Yes. The youngest, a freshman, freshman at Northview. Mm -hmm. And you can do some open and rolling and stuff around that area. So it's, it's not that big of a deal. I'm sure it's happened before, but same sport. It was, it was wonderful to watch. Playing against each other. Yeah. And, and, and Northview came away victorious. Yeah. All right, Danny, we'll turn it over to you. Uh, now, there are several family members, I'm sure, in the Pace Center Club. Uh, you don't have any issues with, with brothers playing against brothers, do you? Not really, no. Sometimes we do, yeah. We, we've had some. Uh, last week, we just had a, one of our, two of our teams, 14 age group, played against each other. So that was fun in the league. Sure. So that, that, that was good. So that they matched up in the league, which was good. So, But we, we have a couple of times, yeah. It's happened over the years, yeah. yeah. And, and, and this past week was a big weekend for Pace Center, big tournament that you guys were participating. Yeah, we just got back from the uh, Ohio Premier Tournament in Columbus, where it, it's a great tournament. We've been going there for the last eight years now, uh, play against teams like uh, Ohio Premier, FC Pride, Ohio Elite, Cleveland Internationals, uh, Penine, all those sort of teams in the Midwest, some of the best teams in the Midwest. So it's a great early tournament for us. It's a great venue. It's all at... You know, the girls are at one venue, the boys are at one venue, so it makes it easy to go see all the teams. It makes it easy for the families. So we, we've had a good weekend down there and played some really good competition. Yep, I've, I've been down to that tournament for the for the uh, youngsters, the U8s, yep. and uh, you're right, very well run. Uh, let, let's talk about a former pace or, or a pace setter alumni, a former pace setter player, uh, Buddha. What yep. Buddha coming up huge first collegiate goal, ten seconds left against Ohio State. I mean. We knew he was good. You've seen him for years. I mean, your, your thoughts on him getting his first collegiate goal? It's fantastic for him, and, and what a strike it was, and, and what a great venue at Ohio State as well to do that. So we, he, he did that week in, week out for us, so we know he could do it, and it was just a matter of time at the collegiate level when he was going to do it. Yeah, that, and I'm sure he'll go and get a couple more goals now this year. I, I would think so. I would yeah. hope so. But Zach Bishop, uh, Saint, former St. Saint John Titan as well, and, and you called some of the games that he's been on. We called some of the yeah. games. I mean, just to see him now just start to take that next step. I mean, gratifying for us here that, we, that we've seen him uh, ever since he was a kid. I mean, you got to feel the same way. Yeah, absolutely. It, and at St. John's, he kind of came in with, with his brother being the, the big the big Bisher. Cam. He comes in as the small Bisher. Right. Uh, Camden <laughs> had a big big game uh, for Northwestern last week. So then uh, the young little Bisher. Yes. He's okay. He's not, is he 20? No, but uh, has a big game, huge finish. And the assist, Peter Puglias from Toledo Villa Football Club got the assist. Great head ball back. Okay. Bisher crashes. I mean, those two will be fantastic together next year. You know, just saying. <laughs> Again, it's When summer. is that? In like it's eight it's months? months? Nine months? Got months. Uh, uh, finally, I, Danny, I want to leave. You begin some on-air time, Danny, here yeah. on the BCSN. You've joined Chris Black in the in the, in the the uh, booth realm now, not yeah. just on the field. 
What are your thoughts about being on this side of the mic? It's great. I enjoy it. I've done two games now so so far, so really enjoyed it. Enjoyed working with Mason and Ben, and it's been fantastic. The the live one for St. John, St. Francis was a little bit nervy, but <laughs> I didn't realise it was live till I got there. But, but but it's fun. It's been really good. I, I've enjoyed it. So it's been it's been different, but it, it's been good. And I purchased the shirt and tie as well. So. You see the knot? <laughs> big old knot oh, yeah. there. I, I'm have, gonna take lessons. Right? Have you worn makeup yet? <laughs> Not quite yet. No. Okay. See Chris Black. <laughs> All right. He is Danny Fisher from Pace Center. He is Chris Black. Well, you'll see him around yeah. if he can last at a yeah. game. <laughs> I'm Eric Hobart, and this has been Sidekicks, brought to you by Pace. Center.